Hold to get hints if you are stuck. I don't. Let's do it. Are we stuck? No. I don't think we're stuck. Just like let's do it generally. Let's do Bioshock. Let's do Bioshock. We're back. Hey, we're back. We have nineteen dollars. Hey, we're back with nineteen dollars. Here's just a bunch of she music. Yeah, for someone who like loves to stop and observe everything. You don't scavenge as much as I always think that you will. <laughs> I just took some glue. You can't say I don't scavenge when I just took that glue. Hang on. Fair point. Where the... Where the hell is that shadow coming from? The mannequin shadow? Yeah. Oh, it's this. Um, there we go. Well, we found it. Far more direct. Okay, right. I'm holding to get a hint. Finnegan has been locked in a frozen tunnel on his way to Poseidon Plaza, so... I think when we were doing an audio test, we actually kind of stumbled into him, but... Oh. <laughs> uh, our, our audio test, a.k.a. running guns a-blazing through Rapture. <laughs> we have to make sure the guns make the loud sound. It's true, but you'd think we'd, like, then reload so that way we had ammo. But we do. Fine. We do. I did. You did? We do? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do that every time. Life is wild. Life is strange. A don't no. nod entertainment <laughs> game. No. How do you feel about the union? <laughs> oh, can um, we not? <laughs> yeah, we can't. Wait, we can't. Here's a little, here's a little background detail to uh, today's stream. I'm feeling really anxious. <laughs> mm, mm. Um... So that's where we're at. But I think I think playing this bad game under the sea is Oh I Okay. <laughs> that was such a terrible photo they didn't even they didn't even <laughs> didn't let even me register. take it. Um oh. Yeah. There's a there's a room in Oh no, there's a room in the theater that we haven't been into. I'm gonna trust you. But I'm I have along for the ride. Yeah, me, me too. Unfortunately, I'm also supposed to be piloting. I know. Um, hey, if I could pilot, I would, but I won't. Because <laughs> I can't. Oh, wow, look at this cool frozen tunnel. I know that that's where he is, but I do want to go into... The room? Yeah, if I can. I think it's yeah, this shop can. that we have to break into, perhaps? I... Yeah, it's Cohen's Collection. Fine art. There's a health pack in there, but I don't want to have to fight the security bots. Oh, it looks oh. like you didn't really have to break into it. I really do like when, when we go into... I should drink some, um, thing. Um. <laughs> That's not drinking. Yes, it is. Drinking with the syringe. Um, mm. I really do like it when you go into rooms... Fort Frolic does this really well, and just, like, nothing happens. The room is quiet. Which, yeah. often in previous levels, like, you enter a bit of the level and someone just attempts to murder you immediately. Well, I love this view of the easel backlit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's actually, this staging is really brilliant, having this, like, half wall. Yeah. Um. Some pals on the window, some plaster folk. Including a plaster little sister, which is... Oof. Horrible. Very horrible. Um, and an audio diary here called The Doubters. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. Um, is someone drumming on massive steel drums? <laughs> no, it's um a a big truck has come into the my parking lot. 
and hopefully they will go away. I was going to say something. Oh. I was going to say something earlier, but Sander Cohen was talking and it felt rude. Obviously, the trucks did not agree. I swear to God, if you kill Susan, I'm oh, going to be, be so mad. mad. If you've um, killed Susan... In Bioshock 2, the Susan mechanic gets much more involved, and you can, yes. like, repair them and stuff. Um, yeah. Which is, like, narratively makes more sense, given that in Bioshock 2, you are more... I don't want to say for people who haven't machinery. played it. You are more yeah, yeah. invested in Rapture's yeah. infrastructure than this character certainly is. More in with the machinery. More in with the machinery. Hey, are you in with the machinery? Because I am. Oh, uh, Susan. What oh, have they done Susan. to you? <laughs> no. My beautiful beacon. <laughs> this beautiful ball of flame. Oh, Susan. Oh, Susan just, just, just like, <laughs> buffing sparks everywhere. No. Oh, Susan. Let's try and hack, uh... Oh my safe? god, there's like three there's safes There's so many there. safes. Well, we do have all those auto-hack tools We've back in Farmer's Market. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Get extremely back on our bullshit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's bad. You're done, Crap. Though. All right. Okay. Auto-hack. <laughs> we got... What do you got? 30 machine gun rounds, 6 film, and an Eve hypo. I'm going to re-roll that. Oh, you can't. Uh... There That's was search hack. again. It's this one, yeah, I pressed it and it didn't do anything. Oh. All I right. Guess they that, I'm like... gonna try and hack this one. Okay. Wait, is my health okay? I'm gonna take a health pack. <laughs> nice, good choice. No. Ah. <laughs> That's auto hack that one. What do we got in here? I feel like you want to open up too many options before you swap them out. I couldn't find a suitable one to swap them out with. Mm, fair, fair and true. One of my absolute favorite things, like uh, like um level design traits, is when designers let you look down on like a cross section of a level. Um, mm. It's always just like my favorite bullshit. And I will always point it out. Dishonored does a really good Dishonored job. Dishonored does it really well. One of my favorite ever levels um, is called Shipping and Receiving, and it's in Thief 2? Mm. Thief 1 or 2. Uh, and it's basically this huge warehouse that has these kind of like half half height walls all the way through it. Mm -hmm. So if you make mm -hmm. your way up, you can like look down on the whole warehouse. Um, which there you is go. really super well suited to like. Um, to look down in a warehouse. Well, it's a really interesting like conversation about the way that we view levels from because i'm playing a lot of divinity right now mm. which of course is a top down you know ish game where you often can see everything at once uh and the way that the language of level design has to change um from your point of view the player's point of view yeah is pretty interesting it's 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 got to be really fascinating to design for, um, and I think especially in the context of um, ooh, a little little all the crates are hiding, um, in the context of a sort of like immersive sim adjacent game like Dishonored or like Bioshock or like mm. Thief, um, having these kind of dioramic visuals. Um, yeah, is, it's it matches use really the word well. Diorama uh, or diorama. Uh, because that Bioshock feels so much to me like a diorama. Yeah. I, All these it, like perfectly placed, very conscious, very self conscious uh, bits of architecture. I mean, like, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, this is a diorama. Something we're going to do in Bioshock 2. Uh, so we're playing this on a PS4, but something we're going to do in Bioshock 2 on PC is um, once we finish each level, we're going to uh, use the console to break collisions uh, and go exploring, go diving around the levels um, freed from the bounds of collision, uh, mm -hmm. so which excited. should hopefully like reveal a bunch of interesting like choices as to placement and choices how to, as to how the levels are set up. For example, right now I can tell you, no damn idea where I'm going. <laughs> 
Um, Do you ever? Look, it's it's difficult. We want to go to Poseidon Plaza, which is, to be honest, it is signposted over there in big and letters like, that listen, say Poseidon Plaza. I want Plaza. to be clear. The fault does not lie with you for being lost. The fault lies with this shitty map design. Mm-hmm. It's not even a problem with the level like design. I am playing Operation. <laughs> it does. It really does. Oh, let's see if we can actually pick up any new plasmids while we're here. No. <laughs> no. Unless you want target dummy. Which I don't. Uh, or cyclone trap, which is funny, no. but like not the most useful. Especially since Tapping we're going to be fighting expert. a lot of spider splices. Dose. Um, mm. Nah, I think I'm good. Yeah. Alright, let's go into Poseidon Clearly Plaza. what you need to do is harvest way more little sisters, Jack. Yeah, look, I you know. Like we haven't seen any tiny babies in a while. No, my guess would be that they... Uh... Apart from Susan, Amphi. My guess, of course, the perfectest baby of them all. My guess would be that... Oh, there she is. Um... My guess would be that their spawning Please. has been restricted during this opening. Um, mm. Oh my god. Wait, hang on. Wait, wait a second. Alright, that's a Houdini, I think. Yeah, it was a Houdini who just, like, walked into the room, which was a very, <laughs> very off-brand. A Houdini walking somewhere? They Easy. must, though, right? Right. I don't know why they did that. Easier to predict Houdini splices teleportation. Um... Houdini's day off. <laughs> I like how when they teleported to a new place, they were still on fire. Yeah, they had the, they had not the teleport whatever the teleportation is. I've discovered a oh, bees. I've discovered something that is really cool. Um, I can click the right stick to zoom in with the camera. I did not know that. Wow. I've played Bioshock twice, two and a half times. It's taken us a, a uh, long bees, time sorry. to figure out what to do with the right stick. <laughs> it's mo mostly looking oh my around. Gosh. This morning, there was a baby outside my window who saw a squirrel and was so excited about it that they were telling everyone oh, what were they, they saw a squirrel. Now, I get that this is a very horrific image of this, like, winged woman hanging from the ceiling and like again super gross conversations but also this baby was so excited about seeing a squirrel could you they give us a little replay it, and of that's how i woke up the sort of things they I yelled i saw a squirrel i saw a squirrel and you didn't you missed <laughs> oh. it i saw oh. a squirrel interesting and that's what the baby sounded like well let's get this audio down oh crap i think i accidentally just killed susan <laughs> <laughs> it's some weird area of effect. <laughs> you could not, you could not imagine life without Susan, where you still had breath to breathe. I just immediately keeled over. Just immediately bit. Wow, I miss her already. Me too. <laughs> Great picture. That is not an A. Bioshock, that is not an A. Um, anyway, I was reminded of the baby yelling about the squirrel because there's currently a baby outside yelling about something else. There Babies, are a lot of they love to yell. <laughs> <sighs> hey, do you want to get another Susan real quick? I really do. Let's see. How should we get one? Well, what if you broke into the shop? Oh, good call. Where is the nearest shop I can break into? Probably this oh, one, right? Oh, Cohen's. Yeah, you could break into the window and get the first aid pack. Is there a bot shutdown panel nearby? Mm. Yeah, there's oh, one. There is one. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Cohen is really upset with how far it's taking you. Or how long it's taking you. Okay, well, there it is. He was the first of my disciples to bite the hand. Kill him any way you fancy. But I... Oh, that's right, you get extra points if you kill the folks in the way that Cohen wants you to. Yeah. It's kind of gross. I also wasn't super into the sort of, like... Again, Cohen painted as queer is... That's kind of the only queer character we've met so far. It's not mm. great. 
Yeah. Um, and is so super tied up in like representations of artists in horror. Mm hmm. Um, as like generally being queer coded or mm -hmm. femme coded. Um, yeah. And especially since we haven't really had any queer characters in. Come on, Susan. As any queer characters in Rapture so far uh, at all. The fact that the first one we meet is this kind of like explicitly queer coded artiste is really frustrating. Yeah. Well, we we've gotten into that before. Um, but was, does that have something to do with like the way that Cohen asks you to kill people? No. Uh, he said, "Oh, I had uh, he admired my paintings. I admired his like long pause carriage." Um, oh. Got it. He yeah. was the first of the disciples to bite the hand. Yeah. Um, which is very... Well, that was a whole waste of time. It sure was. Susan, where are you? Maybe I'm reading that line wrong. Maybe it wasn't intended to be read that way. Well, I mean, no. I mean, if, if that's the way that you read it, then that's entirely valid. And it's backed up with, you know pretty clear-cut examples that that we've picked up from in in text i don't think that it's reading too much into it right he's very much like um i feel like cohen is definitely riffing off like noel coward um, yeah i mean So are we to understand that Martin Finnegan was so straight that he had to freeze over an entire section of <laughs> Rapture to avoid his feelings about the advancements from another man? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a disappointment. Uh, I also want to be clear, like, I don't know, I've been thinking about this, about how we call the bots that follow us, Susan, and how we love each and every one of them very much. Um, but it is like a femme-coded name, even mm -hmm. though our... Oh, we've gone... Gone all frosty. Sorry, carry on. Oh, it's just... Um, you know, that's also pretty complicated in, in, in this, especially 2017 conversation of um, femme-coded assistants mm -hmm. uh, that we also were like, oh, yes, I forget how we even came up with the name Susan, but uh, now Susans are the bots that follow us around. And yeah. even though we explicitly have been like, oh, there are, you know, specific pronouns for Susans. Um difficult to avoid our relationship to the feminine assistant yeah absolutely we like yeah like the the good susan who helps us out etc mm -hmm. um in bioshock 2 they're they're named for you which is one of my favorites yeah. well it makes me think of janet in the good place mm -hmm. uh, which who I love. Uh, janet in the good place kind of addresses that kind of yeah in 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 their um I'm not a girl. Yeah, they have some fa fantastic. Oh, really? Okay. They have some. God, I really want they to. They do a, They do an all right job of addressing it. I yeah. Think I think. Oh, great. Cool. <laughs> um, I think like a lot of like twenty minute sitcoms. That show gestures at a lot of representational stuff and political stuff and could always do more with it, but it does a hell of a lot more than other shows, I think, which mm -hmm. is which is good. But I'd always like to see more of that. This is a really frustrating boss fight, I seem to remember, largely because... 
I... I'm just shooting this guy with um oh I know what yeah. I have. Oh, he's on your left. Is he like a yeah, he's like a Ice Houdini, which is an interesting yeah. character who we only meet once. And he has like custom art for it, but Careful. Oh, okay, barely alive. Like a lot of 30 plus hour video game campaigns, Bioshock <laughs> gestures a lot of political conversations. Oh my god. At least it fucking gestures at them. I'm playing Shadow of War at the moment, and that is a game that does not understand what its story is. Uh... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I think about how, like, this medium is what I've devoted my entire life to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Ugh. Right. Well, let's see if there's actually anything else here that's worth poking my head around. No, we just got this weird room. <laughs> <laughs> is that a person hanging from the... Ceiling? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just a... No, it's a stalactite. No, it's just a stalactite. Look. Look. Cat, it's very simple. Stalactites cling tight to the ceiling. Stalagmites cling tight to the floor. Hmm. Got it. I really Would love it. Would be that... better to say that the stalagmites cling mightily to the floor? Look, the stalagmites cling mightily to the ceiling, and the stalactites cling tightly to the floor. <laughs> look, this look, cat, the stalagmitely the ceiling, the stalactitely the easy. ceiling floor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, I really love this visual. I really love, love to be explained to in rhyme. <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Anyway, carry on. Um, I really like this visual of like the um, the gold color in this weird blue fog room. Yeah. Um, that I think the game has done a bunch of these rooms before, like with the Ice Princess brand called Storage. Um, yeah, which was great. Which was, oh, yeah, oh, we get a plasmid from this guy, I think. Which is like, oh, interesting. You take less damage from cold and can freeze enemies when you hit them with the wrench. What's wrench lurker? Does that quiet your uh, footsteps? It quiets my footsteps and means I do more wrench damage. Which I don't do a lot of, but so but, it might be oh, worth switching like that out. Footsteps. But we really do like quiet footsteps. We've got some enzyme yeah. sample there, which would have been good in... Um, don't forget know. to smash the first aid station. Oh, yeah, good call, because we're not going to be coming back. Nope. I didn't know about smashing the first aid station the first time I played. Um, mm. I don't think it's, is it explicitly said. Or no, have, I like, didn't think it's... People, like, watch splicers oh, and do it. Sometimes they do don't they drop do anything. No, splicers oh, don't do it, but um, if one breaks in, like, a firefight, sometimes they leave things behind them, which I guess is the design thing of, like, oh, players will intuit it. But it's also kind of cool when players don't. I like that it's this mechanic that is largely hidden. It's cool. Can we unfreeze this door out of interest? Oh man, we can. Yeah. Where does this take us? Poseidon Plaza. Oh, back through the frozen tunnel? Oh no, it takes us into like a new... Different area, yeah. Can you hear the crows? I have to learn to love them, I think. You have to... Must love crows. <laughs> no. No. Oh, there's two of them. Bees. It's wild that there's like a spotlight following them. Oh my god, really? Is that that normal? was normal? That was me? I did that? Oh, I cast this time for Susan. Susan. Are we near a bot shutdown panel? Oh wow, we are near a bot shutdown panel. Maybe. Yeah, there's supposed to be one, like, here. But I can't see it. I think this might be a death cat. Alright, here we go. I think you can zap it, yeah. You're good. Let's do it. Alright. You got some turny downies, yeah. I think I'm gonna go down this way. 
Yeah. This'll do. This'll do. Here we go. This'll do. Two alarm tiles there, but you know. <laughs> oh, boarded by alarm tiles. Oh, you're G2G. All right, let's go. Can you swap out. Down. Just go for a straight. Did I just do that? Yeah, it's fine. I do it too. Maybe I'm actually gonna leave I just this one I would call you that. deactivated yeah. until. Oh man, what if we have two Susans? What if we have two Susans? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go down this way. I think. What if we have? I, my, I took out my earbuds and threw. If you say it again, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <gasps> what if we had two sons? Here are my two sons, Susan one and Susan two. <laughs> mm. It's Doctor Seuss again. All right. 29 seconds. Really? Alright, Tuzan, you can... Wow, just three backflips. <laughs> she just wanted to show off. That she could do it, yeah. Alright, you should also sleep until this... Oh my god, really? For real? Oh gosh. Gosh, the spider splices are not messing around. Oh, I'm out of ammo. No. <laughs> Everything is... Bad. Oh, and we've lost those Susans. Oh, our Susans. Where did we die? Is it worth going back and getting them? Of course it is. What am I saying? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to go back through the flooded Poseidon. tunnel. Yeah. Yeah. But we I also mean, need some uh... to get our two sons. I think I would. I would go to the ends of the earth <laughs> to fetch my. Fetch my large adult sons. Where? Yeah. Where is ah? Here we go. Perfect. Perfect. My perfect Susans. Did we turn off the tonic that lets them eat? Lets us eat spider spicer hearts? Because I feel like we've been missing those. Mm, don't remember. Let's go put the painting on the remember. on the quad tick and end the episode there. Quad tick. <laughs> quad also, tick. yeah. Let's do it. Is that a real thing? I just... Oh, there's a big daddy down there. It's a Rosie fighting a... Oh, it's a red Rosie. These are like really tough ones, I think, that only start showing up at this point in the game. I think? Bees. Okay, that one went pretty. That was pretty. Yeah, quad quad tick is not a thing. Qu quad trip tick is what you could call be that. A thing. Yeah, a quad trip tick has four parts. Quad tick is if it's since it's not real, it is therefore now my favorite joke that we've encountered in the game. Uh, so yeah, here's this really tough. Whoa! Wow, there he goes. <laughs> there he go. That's an A. Just boosts you all the way up. Oh, I got a trophy for taking so many damn photos. How is that a B? <laughs> you can make, you can make it better. Photograph already subject. Photograph already subject. No, no, no! Don't sack me. We're good. We're good. We're cool here. I know you're busy over there, just absolutely wrecking that splicer. But I think we're good. All right, let's. The camera put this is on. the truest weapon. Why do you think it should go, Cat? Hmm. Since a quad tick isn't real, I feel like any place you put it is going to be equally invalid. Let's put it up here. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot about these. I could never stomach doubters. What do we got? 1090 per hour rounds, $21, and three first aid kits. Thanks, Sander. Thanks, Sander. What is this? I don't even remember what this is. Can you unlock it? No. Maybe eventually you get to? Maybe there's a, um... 
like a tonic or a plasmid side. Yeah, it might be the reward for completing the the quad tick. Quad -tick. Yeah. The quad tick. Anyway, let's end this episode here and come back to take another picture. Sounds great.